this video we're going to assemble the front lens holder and gem panels. We're then going to fix the 3D printed shafts into their respective laser cut mechanisms. Before starting to stick things, I'd practice getting a small drop of superglue protruding from the end of the bottle. It sounds odd, but will really help fixing things together in this video. Remove the lid, angle the tube down slightly and squeeze gently. Air will be trapped in the tube, so squeeze this out first until you get a single drop of glue on the end. Doing it this way will avoid spraying droplets of superglue onto the work and will allow you to apply just the right amount of glue on small parts. Find the seconds engraved panel and the larger of the two black and white rings, the one with an engraved line around it. Working from the back, carefully align the black side of the ring with the lens hole. Once you are happy it is centred, place a drop of superglue into each of the three notches. Capillary action should draw the glue into the joint. Hold it firmly for about 20 seconds whilst the glue sets. Blot off any additional glue with a tissue. It should look like this from the back and this from the front. Find the engraved gem panel and the remaining black and white ring. From the front, the engraved side, line up the middle of the ring with the engraved circle in the panel. Once you have the ring and hole centred, place about three drops of superglue around the inside of the ring. Again, capillary action should draw it into the joint. Wipe off any excess glue with a tissue. If you do get some glue on the fronts of the panels, it may show up once they're painted, so use the wet and dry abrasive paper and some water to sand off any glue. To assemble the snail cam, you'll need the 2mm thick snail cam and the 2mm thick disc which has spokes engraved on it. With the engraved circle on the snail cam facing the engraved spokes on the disc, carefully line up the parts so the holes are centred. Hold them in place and place a drop of superglue on the outside of the spoke disc where it touches the cam. The engraved spokes will allow glue to be drawn into the joint whilst it is held in place. After about 20 seconds, the glue should have set sufficiently to hold the parts together. Then place a couple more drops around the joint. Wipe off any excess glue with a tissue. It doesn't matter if excess glue is seen, as this side faces the back of the clock. Now find the snail cam follower arm and its circular 3D printed spindle. Check they fit together properly. Place some super glue around the top of the flange and then push the cam follower arm down firmly onto the flange and hold it while the glue sets. To assemble the curved rack arm, you'll need the 2mm thick rack arm, the 2mm spacer which has a tooth shape in it, the 5mm thick gear with the smaller hexagonal centre hole and an engraved line, 
and finally the larger of the two hexagonal shafts. The wrong parts won't fit together, so don't worry. Arrange the parts on a flat surface so you know how they all fit together. Notice how the line on the gear and spacer and the tooth shape in the curved rack must all line up. Sit the spindle on its slightly wider flange. The 5mm gear with its engraved line facing upwards, it doesn't have to line up with a particular side of the hexagonal shaft. The spacer with the tooth and the rack arm with the engraving facing upwards. Check that everything fits together. Some joints may be quite tight. Once you're happy, take it apart and prepare to glue. Apply a drop of superglue on each of the spindle's hexagonal sides near the bottom to hold on the gear. Now push the gear firmly down onto the spindle so it sits against the flange. Put a few spots of superglue around the top of the gear and line the tooth on the spacer up with the engraved line on the gear, then push it into place. Finally, place a few spots of superglue on the toothed spacer and line up the rack arm so the tooth on the spacer lines up with the cut-out tooth shape in the rack arm. Then push it onto the spindle and hold it whilst the glue sets. To assemble the hour hand spindle, You'll need the largest 3D printed spindle and the remaining 5mm thick gear. Ensure you can push the gear over the circular end of the spindle and onto the hexagonal part. Remove the gear and place a drop of superglue on each of the hexagonal sides. Then push the gear firmly into place on the spindle. To assemble the AM-PM cam, you'll need the 3D printed ratchet, the small 3D printed hexagonal spindle, and the 2mm thick cam. Check the spindle pushes into the hole in the centre of the 3D printed ratchet. The flange at one end of the spindle needs to end up sitting on the flat side of the ratchet. If it's too tight, use the wet and dry abrasive paper to sand down the spindle's sides slightly. Once it fits properly, take it apart and place a few drops of superglue on the sides of the spindle. With the ratchet's flat side facing towards the spindle, push the ratchet down firmly over it. Check the cam pushes onto the hexagonal shaft and that it is the correct way round with the ratchet and cam shapes lining up. Remove the cam and place several drops of superglue around the front of the 3D printed ratchet. Now push the two parts together and hold them whilst the glue sets. Congratulations! You've completed assembling the two front panels and the mechanical components.